everybody and welcome to a new series from Monty. That's right, Planet Base. We're gonna take a little early sneaky peeky. It's, uh, it's still beta, but it's gonna be released later this week. Oh man, it's just, uh, well, I can't say anything about how I feel about it yet. Let's just jump into it and I'll let you guys judge amongst yourselves. Let's go ahead and do a new game. As you can see how the game works is there's gonna be different planets that you're gonna be able to play. You have to unlock different milestones to actually move on to the next. So once we get five, so we only need two more, we're gonna be able to unlock a class F and then a class M and it'll just get really, really fun. So let's go ahead and jump in. I've done probably three or four tries. I have a good base going. Uh, the first two or three definitely ended in death one way or another, either power, air, or water, but you'll see very quickly. We are going to build out a little colony, survive, trade, manage all your resources, so definitely gets into the micromanagement in a very fun way with some really nice backgrounds. So let's see if we can survive. Let's meet our little crew here. The different colors are different types. There's workers and biologists and medics and guards and robots, different kind of robots. A loader robot and a constructor robot. And we'll also be able to get a driller. So let's get into it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and there's no pause. You can just have it at a slow speed and we need an oxygen generator. I'm not gonna overly explain it stuff. I'm just gonna go ahead and play Try to survive and you'll learn as we go. Got to connect an airlock. These are both buildings that'll have an interior. So we have, let's check out our guide here. This is all the building, building interior structures. Let's go exterior. We're gonna need a solar panel. I'm gonna go with one a little bit bigger. And yeah, we'll build that stuff out this way. Oh, oh, this is going to be a tight spot. I'm building out the wrong way. Recycling, we'll get all this back. Hasn't been spent yet. I want to build out this way. Yeah, I saw that was the tiny one. Okay, we got to wait for these to finish. We'll get a water extractor large one and a power collector that one will be important really big one go all out connect all these you gotta have them connected doesn't matter which way you connect them you don't want to over connect it's just a waste of materials as you can see this connection actually is resources oh let's see what we got we got meals we have metals we got bioplastic medical supplies and spares. The more inventory you get, it'll just keep adding up onto here. So this is just your all around inventory. And look at that, we already have some some stuff coming in. Already dangerous, all right, so, all right, quick, quick, quick. We've gotta get this built. We've gotta get water going for the oxygen generator. Here's the, all the hints are very nice. I'm not gonna overly read them. I've kinda got a little bit of a hang of it. We'll see if we survive. And the pod right here, you can go ahead and click on it and just go recycle. Boom, drops all the resources down. You can see all the different items. We'll get some storage built and all that fun stuff. Now that this is built though, we can build more stuff. Uh, we need a canteen because our people are going to need to drink. Let's get that built and connected. What else are we gonna need? We're gonna need a dorm. They're gonna need to sleep, but we're also gonna need to start making our own goods. As you can see, we have a pretty limited supply. So don't overbuild out. Get the necessities built out first. This is a good spot for the dorm. One thing to note about the dorm is that you can't build onto it. Like, uh, for example, if I want to build uh, another canteen, you can't build it onto the dormitory. It's going to have to be built out here somewhere and connect off of this one. So just something to keep in mind when you're building the dorm. 
And this is the show tops. We're going to go ahead and remove show tops so we can kind of see the inside. What's nice is even if you zoom away, zoom back, the tops come back. And then you zoom in and they go away. That's, I like this the best. All right, now we get some internal stuff once these passageways are built. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. But everyone's inside now. Which is good because they do have a limited supply of oxygen. All right, here we go. This is our canteen. We're going to build a table. We're going to get some water fountains right off the start. Go like two of them. And we'll get a canteen. And some entertainment, a video screen. Somewhere where we know we're not going to be expanding. There we go. And eventually we'll build some more, but that's minimal. I'm actually going to even get rid of that guy. Minimal. That'll be good enough. We only have seven people living here and two robots. Another good way to look at that is here in your stats, which I'll eventually learn everything F2, F3, F4. I always worry about just randomly pressing the F buttons because I. I've done that and then you auto load on some games and it just turns into a disaster. But so far not here. We're going to add some bunks. And for now, that's six spots. That'll be fine. One person can be left out. Yeah, okay, we've got a problem at nighttime. Our power is draining. Now the good thing is, is we stored, we have this collector here. But the next thing we're going to want to work on is get a wind turbine up here. Ooh, that's a good spot. Wait, recycle. Let's get a larger one, if possible. Come on. Nope, just the tiny one? All right, that'll work. Let's get that built. Hopefully they'll put some priority into the wind turbine. Hi, check it out. Now, cool. You can click on the canteen here and just go to this video screen. Ah, see everyone up close. Get a little drink of water. Watch 24 hour news. Watch this lady stand here for 24 hours, giving us highly anticipated news from the other planets. It does actually change. There's a little bit going on. There's some fun stuff. This is the food storage. Let's go ahead and talk about this a little bit. See how this is working. Uh, this guy right here, the meal maker, we've got to get fruits or veggies, so I don't want to overbuild because then they'll, you know, I want them to prioritize building the, the power first. You don't know yet. I'm gonna, I want to get the power and then we're going to go ahead and build more buildings like the biodome. The biodome is going to go over here. Connect right to our cantina, which will be good. I did a smaller biodome. What I'm going to do is different biodomes. One's going to be for like medicinal plants. One is for food. And we'll have another one for the bioplastic, which is all processing plant stuff. Way to segue into that. We're going to go ahead and build one of these. And we're going to build a airlock. Yeah, this will work this way. Cool, now we've got the basics. What I'm really trying to work for now is the survival survival mode guy. What is it called? Uh, milestone. So we need to survive for one day, and that's what we're going to work on for our first episode. So we're going to keep it just at the slowest speed. You can speed it up a little bit. I'll show you right here the plus sign or the minus sign. That's how that works. Uh, but no pause, which keeps you on your toes. So how are we doing on materials? Everything's going down, and that means they're still delivering materials to where they need to go. Once we get some production, we'll get some green arrows here, though. And nice, we're maintaining on our power. We're actually increasing at the moment. That's a very important one, is F4. Power grid, water grid, oxygen. If any of these fail, it's kind of game over. Nah, everyone dies. Not a good time. 
Not a good time to be living on MG, whatever we called it, MGTV Prime. All right, hey, we got Biodome. Here's your pea pods. These things do, uh, they're a little bit starchy and they are gonna provide you with some food, some food, but they're gonna also give you the needed materials for the uh, production of the bioplastic. So I wanna go ahead and do some, let's get some lettuce. We'll do some tomatoes and some onions. And we will go ahead and do a rice patty, rice pad just because it does also produce food and we will use that bef until we get more materials for our additional biodome. Because again, you don't want to overbuild out. We only have so many bioplastics and metal. So see, this is showing. I still got six going out, nine going out. We're gonna be short. So, the order you build these things is very important. We are going to need a factory. We're going to do the small size. I'm pop this guy right up here. And the processing plant definitely needs metal processor and bioplastic processor. Lovely here is they uh, they need what the other one takes. Oh no, they both take a steel. So that's crazy. Now. That's crazy, man. Let's go get a mine going. Kind of like stating the obvious, but it's just kind of nice to see what I'm doing. Slow motion. Let's get a little F4 action here. Yeah, power, that's what I thought. It's always something. Let's get a bigger windmill. Doesn't really matter. There's not like higher wind areas, lower wind areas. Just make sure these guys are all connected. One big happy connected family. You can't, however, go say, oh, I wanna build something way out here. Once you start building your initial base, you have to build off of it. It's gotta be one continual base. But you can really build it out and go crazy and really build some cool stuff. Just hitting the edge of it. I mean, I've got, I've built one of every building, really started getting it going. But I didn't want to just jump right into that. I wanted to, ooh, that was a close one. I wanted to start from the beginning. Hey, survival reached. What's the next one? Because that's a little early on. Let's keep on trucking a little bit longer. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I want a priority, I want these built. So prioritize this building. However, this factory, we are gonna wanna get spares getting built. That's the next item. Once you get your food, your water, which is this guy up here, and power, just make sure you're constantly, after you do something else, every time, every time I like to go back because power out, game over. You lose power, you lose oxygen, you lose water, you die. Do, 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 do. We've got the mines getting built. We will speed that up a little bit. Yes, this is the most important thing. We gotta get the mine. We have to get our metal processor. Once we get that, we're gonna be sustainable. All right. Yes, thank you normal. Now those are online. We're going to start getting, so you get two food and starch. And the starch is what we need for the bioplastic processor. Starch, when there's an, a worker, turns it into bioplastic. So we'll, we'll really dive into the details more. But I don't want to bore everyone with the details up front. We're just going to kind of burn through and kind of get a little bit deeper as we go but as you can see this is everything you need to survive the next milestone is self-sufficient which we just hit which really means we've got oh let me show you I think if you click on it you need to build bioplastic processor metal processor meal maker a mine and a biodome once you get that 
it is is what it says self-sufficient you're good to go uh, I look forward to what you guys come up with some really cool designs the wind storms and everything get really really interesting we've got to get some other things built up but we shall do that next episode Thanks for watching. I've been Monty from Monty Rico Gaming. Remember, go ahead and give the little like button a click and uh, subscribe and share for updates. Keep on gaming. Thanks for watching. Have a great one.